Hello girl, what do you prefer? A Barbie or a hamburger? A Barbie. Take it, it's yours. Hello girl, what do you prefer? A Barbie or a hamburger? Answer with your mouth. Hello girl. Hi. What do you prefer? A Barbie or a hamburger? Is it the one from the movie? Yes. The hamburger. The hamburger? Yes. It's yours. Hey, why do you prefer the hamburger if I saw that you wanted the Barbie? I mean, you even grabbed it and you were watching it and you got excited. Because my mom and I haven't eaten or had breakfast. And we've never had a hamburger. My mom is sick. And you don't go to school? What's a girl doing washing cars if you should be in school? No. I earn money to support my mother because she is sick. What illness does your mother have? Diabetes. Does she have diabetes? Yes, you have diabetes. And you come here very early to wash cars? Yes. So you've been here for a long time washing cars? Yes. This man gave me food. Why? Look, lady. I'm doing a social experiment and I offered the girl a Barbie or the hamburger. So the girl preferred a hamburger and tells me that she needs to come here to wash cars. That you are both here working, too. Well, it seemed very strange to me because at first the girl did want the Barbie. She was very excited. She was very excited when she saw the doll. In fact, she even grabbed it. But in the end, she preferred the hamburger. I don't know what your situation is. She tells me you haven't eaten. We haven't eaten. Well, we didn't have breakfast or lunch today. We leave early for work, and when we leave without eating, then we don't have the opportunity to eat today. Hey, lady. Why are you here washing cars? Why doesn't the girl go to school? Why do you need to come to work here all day? Well, the girl has to not go to school because she has to come work with me to help me. We are going through a very difficult situation. So, but I want to think that it will be momentary, and now we have to come to work. But why do you need to work so badly, madam? Well, sorry for asking so many questions. I know that you don't know me, that I am a stranger, but I don't know if you would like to tell me why you have to come to work every day, why you haven't eaten. Excuse me, but don't you have a husband? No, my husband died. My husband died in an accident. And that is why the situation became complicated for us and we had to go out to work, to wash cars. And what happened to your husband? What type of accident did you have? My husband was a driver and had an accident. Well, he had an accident on the road that left him very injured. He struggled for a long time until he died. Life is complicated, but here we are, right? We are moving forward. But why? Well, when they have an accident in a car, or they bring in a vehicle from the company they work for, they always help them, right? I mean, what happened there? Why didn't the company support it? Why didn't they compensate you and your family? Well, at first they did have the intention. But as things became more complicated, the situation became more complicated. We no longer dedicate our time to it. My husband died, and then in his company where he worked, they no longer wanted to continue supporting us. So we couldn't do much, so we decided to work and try to get ahead and pay the debts we were left with. Because, yes, um, we struggled a lot with my husband after his accident, which he was struggling with. And, well, the situation changes a lot for us. Yes, I imagine that it would have been very difficult to be, to be struggling like how he was left after the accident, well with, with his health and, and apart from that, having to eat and the expenses that an accident represents and everything. But no, you didn't look for the company, no, you didn't try to hire a lawyer to, to help you. Yes, we did, but as I mentioned, 
Since my husband was in bed for a long time after his accident when he was struggling, we did not dedicate the time to him. We rather dedicated ourselves to his recovery, which we do now. That didn't even recover. And while we don't spend the time on all the paperwork and all that, and now since the company has distanced itself, well... And don't you have someone else to help you, ma'am? I don't know if you have a family or... Yes, but my parents don't live here. My parents live abroad. My parents live abroad, so they can barely cover their expenses. They have no way to help us. And from my husband's family, well, only his mother survives him, and his mother is an older woman, older, and we also had to be left with that responsibility of helping her because my husband was her only son, and he was the one who helped him, right? Well, I gave it to her for her expenses because my mother-in-law is already an older person. If it's our turn, then I'll also lend a hand to my mother-in-law. So as I told you, the situation for us is very complicated. And you don't have brothers here who can help you? No, it's just me and my daughter. Just you two? Well, look, ma'am. I would really like to help you because, well, yes. Well, I was very moved by your story. The fact that the girl preferred the hamburger because... Because she tells me that they haven't had breakfast and that... That sometimes they don't have anything to eat until they get something from here that they... They get paid to wash cars. She's never tried these, right? And well apart. What moved me the most is that the girl is very good. Well, maybe another girl would have preferred the toy. Because a toy attracts more attention from kids than a hamburger. But the girl is very good. Despite everything they have suffered. Everything you have suffered. What she suffered. Well, seeing his dad in an accident, seeing his dad die. Well, she is a very good girl. It seems that you have instilled very good values in her. And that the girl is good. Because she wants to help you too. That is why she prefer that both of you eat. Well, that seems like something very nice to me. Because you have educated her well, madam. Thank you. And well, look, I, I want to help you. I want to give you some money so that you can help yourself. So that you have enough to eat tomorrow. No, as I think, hey, no. Well, the food is enough, no. Take it, ma'am, please. Look, this is going to help you a lot. The girl tells me that you were sick. You told me that you were sick. And I imagine that because of your diabetes, you need to buy insulin to take it almost every day. Well, take it, lady. To help yourself. To help the girl. To help your mother-in-law. You tell me that you were also left with that responsibility. Take it to help you. Yes, thank you very much. Yes, we are having a difficult time, and the illness has made the situation even more complicated. Thank you very much. Look, lady, I would like to support you a little more with the girl's education. The truth is that the girl is too young for her not to go to school. The girl, instead of washing cars here, should be at school right now. So I want to help her with that. If you allow me, I want to come around 12 tomorrow to take the girl to school. I am going to be responsible for the girl going to school, for buying her a backpack, for buying her supplies, for buying her clothes, shoes, for keeping an eye on her until she finishes studying. I would like to help. I don't know if you allow me, ma'am, that I can help you with that. I am very sorry, sir, but... The truth is that your other help comes to us as a blessing, as a blessing. And yes, yes, he did accept the help, because the truth is that we need it a lot. Thank you so much. Yes, don't worry, ma'am. There will be that from this moment on. Well, your life, your life is going to change. Things are going to be different. You will have, you will not lack your medicine so that you can be stable from your illness, because the girl needs it. The girl needs you to keep an eye on her, so you have to be good for your daughter. So you will see that from today, things are going to change. Look, lady. Inside that bag, there is also a surprise for you. I don't know if I want to uncover it so you can see. Let's see. The surprise there. What is this?
That's for you, too. Those coins are a national treasure. They have invaluable value. You guys are going to help yourselves a lot with that. From this moment on, your life will change completely. Because with that, you will have to live almost your entire life. Everything that God allows you to live. Well, that will be enough so that they do not lack food. So that they have a place to live. So that I don't know. So that they pay their rent. So that they pay the expenses of their house. Well, with that, that will be enough. Thank you very much, sir. So, because of the great value they have, we would like to accompany you to a place that is of my complete trust so that they can be given what that is really worth. Thank you. Can I have a hug, sir? Yes, of course. We can't help everyone, but everyone can help someone.